Hello, everybody. It's me, Mayonnaise. And I'm here to talk to you about something today. McDonald's. Mick God dang freaking A. Donald's. Okay, seriously. First thing is McDonald's was supposed to make the adults fat. You know, oh, wow, I, I got myself a supersized fry. I'm a fat ass. Now, all of a sudden, McDonald's is making our youth fat. That's right, our youth. The children's, the chitlins, the tiny ones, the wee barons. The article that I read today says, and I'm kind of misquoting on purpose, but I might actually get it right. McDonald's shows toys that kids want who then turn around and nag their parents to get a freaking toy from McDonald's. So, of course, our children are now fat asses. Well, okay, here, here's the funny thing about it. Okay, when I was a kid and I wanted the Partridge Family Bus with the sing-along real-time mi microphone that had the little Danny Bonaducci dolls you just wanted to molest, right, okay, I asked my mom, Mom, can I have the little Danny Bonaducci doll? No. Mom, can I have the... No. Mom, can I have the... No. Mom, I really like that. No. Mom, bang, 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 bang. My mom would pick me up, slam me on the freaking ground, stomp my head into the ground, bury me until sundown, then resurrect me just so I could go to school the next day so she didn't look like a dick. Okay, why don't parents do that anymore? Seriously, on Friday night, my parents would kill me just so they didn't have to deal with me on Monday and they'd bring me back to life right before I went to school. If my kid walked up to me, hey, hey, hey. Can I have? The, can I go to McDonald's so I can get the get the little Harry Potter doll with the new I Love Edward T-shirt on it? No, please, no, please, no. Hey, you know what? You ask me again, I'm gonna take away your Nintendo. I'm gonna take away your college trust fund. I'm gonna make you work till you're 40. Oh wait, hold on. The government's already doing all that. You know what I'll do? I won't do shit. And I still ain't buying you a McDonald's Happy Meal. The the children nag the parents. So so they they they. Break down and go and get them. So just say no, parents. Try it with me. No. Kind of sound like a cow there, didn't we? Now let's try it again. No. For the men out there, it's real simple. Hey, men, do you want a big hairy guy to hump you in the ass? No. Hey, women, would you like to be humped with the corn dog with razor blades on it? Nope. No, sir. Not at all. Wouldn't be prudent. It's easy to say no. So whenever your little kid sees that freaking, you know, doll on TV of Jacob from Twilight or whatever the hell it's called with a Harry Potter shirt off and he's molesting Hermione, you know, and you get it with three diddlers and a cheesecake, I don't freaking know. Just tell your kid no. No, you can't have it. All right? Seriously. And if your kid's getting fat, buy him a trampoline so they can jump up and down while they're playing their Nintendo. Take the Nintendo away. Kick the little kid outside for 30 minutes a day. Oh, wait, but you can't kick him outside for 30 minutes a day because if you're outside for longer than 15 minutes, you're going to get skin cancer. Oh, crap, skin cancer. Speaking of cancer, one in like five or seven people you know has skin cancer because of secondhand smoke or smoking. And if you're a woman over the age of 35, you automatically have skin cancer because you're old. Oh, wait a minute. Did I say you're old? No. If you feel like you're old and you're a woman, well, you can turn around and put some sort of oil of Olay crap on your face, and then all of a sudden, you're young again. Oh, but the side effects is skin cancer. Well, hey, oh, here we go. Speaking of side effects and stuff, you turn around, you look at the statistics on everything, and you're like, oh, here I am. Crap. You know, if I step outside, I'm going to get in a car wreck, you know, within five miles of my house, because that's where it happens. 20% of those are fatal. I'm going to get raped and shot in the middle of the night by some Mexican from Arizona and crap, you know, just because I'm a gun-owning Republican or some crap like that, who happened to vote for Obama just because I thought that Biden looked good in a fucking Speedo. All right. I, I breathe in polluted air every day, so I'm going to freaking die. Oh, shit, I drink Splenda. Splendid iced tea mixed with frickin' corn fruit toast syrup and red dye number five. I'm screwed there. I'm gonna die. Oh, oh crap, and I do eat fast food. I eat McDonald's. So now I'm morbidly obese. And everybody I know has cancer or AIDS or syphilis or herpagonaloids or some crap like that. We're all gonna die anyway. So why can't I just have my Twinkie and be fat? you taking everything else from me. Twinkie. Twinkie. Ask any woman out there. Something three inches long never did damage. I can eat it. 
It's fine. Shit! I'm done.